I'm making blueberry lemonade today. I'm canning it as a concentrate. Then you can add water to it any time during the year and have wonderful lemonade, blueberry lemonade that is. Oh man. I wish you could taste this. It is just beyond words. Oh yeah, you're gonna like this. Okay, what do you think of this shirt? My mom gave it to me. God save the queen, the honeybee queen. Here's a sink full of lemons that we just picked. Some of them are all the way yellow and some of them are half and half. On my blueberry lemonade recipe, I need to have four cups of lemon juice. So we're gonna use my mom's Cuisinart citrus juicer and I'm gonna make up four cups of lemon juice. I have some of them sliced up, so I'm gonna send them through the juicer. All you have to do is press this spout down and the lemon juice will pour out. I'm gonna put it back up because I have two cups there and I'm gonna put that in my big stock pot, which is stainless steel, not aluminum. In our pot, we have four cups of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I added six cups of blueberries, which I sent through the chopper shredder. And then I used five cups of cane sugar. You could use regular sugar. I just happened to have some cane sugar that I wanted to use. Now I'm putting my candy thermometer in there. I need it to become 190 degrees. It's on medium heat. It cannot boil. So as it warms up, I will turn it down because I want it to reach 190 degrees, but I don't want it to ever boil. It's almost to 190 degrees. And once it gets to 190 degrees, I want it to stay at that temperature for five minutes. Now, if I was going to strain this, because sometimes people don't like pieces of the fruit in their lemonade, I would strain it right now. Then I'd put it back onto the burner, get it to that 190 degrees for the five minutes, then pour it into the jars. But I don't mind those pieces. My five minutes are up. And so I'm gonna be pouring it in. As you can see, they're jelly jar size. I could only find one container of quartz and two containers of these jelly jar size. But really, I'm okay with that. Joe and I will so enjoy this blueberry lemonade. Now this is concentrated, so it doesn't have any water added to it. So then you have to decide, and I really tell people it's based on taste, what you think, how strong your lemons were, because some people will do it one cup to one cup. Now other people will do it one cup to say one and a half cups, two cups. Depends on how strong you want your lemonade. I'm just gonna fill all these jars and then we're gonna get them ready to go into the canner. You have to make sure the rims of your jars are very clean. I like to use a paper towel and I just move it every single time so that it is a clean surface that I'm rubbing that. I'm gonna put the lids on, make sure they're finger tight which means you're not cranking that lid and ring down. You just want it finger tight. These are gonna go into the, the canner for 15 minutes. We're ready to lower the jars down into the water. We'll put the lid on and start our timer. 12 jars of blueberry lemonade concentrate just came out of the water bath 
pretty soon those lids will start clicking. So good. But the reason why I like to can concentrate is that even in the dead of winter, when I'm in Wyoming, I can drink blueberry lemonade. Fresh from the trees I picked. I wish there was a way that you could taste it right through the video. It is just beyond words. Now my favorite has always been strawberry lemonade. But I have to say, the blueberry lemonade is right up there.